This picture illustrates the different parts of your braking system. The rotor, the caliper, indicated by the red arrow, the retaining pin, yellow arrow, and the spring clip, green arrow. To remove the old pads, tap out the retaining pin, red arrow, with a punch or a screwdriver and a small hammer. They should slide out pretty easily, as there usually is no load on them. If there is much difficulty encountered during the removal process, then tap the pads slightly to remove pressure from the pins. Remove the spring clip, red arrow. It is a good idea to replace the retaining pin and clip when changing your brake pads, especially if you live in an area that sees winter weather. Pulling the pads out usually involves the use of a screwdriver for leverage. The pads are loose in the caliper, but it's a pretty tight fit, and there's usually a lot of dust and debris in the caliper. Wiggle the pads back and forth to pry them free. When you are ready to install the pads back into the caliper, use a wooden or plastic handle to push back the two caliper pistons. If you are worried about damaging the dust seal around the piston, you can reinsert the old pads and then use a large wrench to compress the piston back into the caliper. Red arrow. Don't stick a screwdriver in by the piston, as you might damage the piston seals. Keep your eye on the fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir, yellow arrow. It can overflow when you push back on the pistons. Install the new pads into the caliper. You may have to install pads into one side of the caliper, red arrow, then push the piston on the other side back in to get the next pad in. Don't forget to reinstall the small retaining clips for the pad retaining pins. Brake pads can take a while to fully brake themselves in. Exercise care when driving with brand new brakes and follow the instructions that came with your pads on how to bed them in or break in the brake pads. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.